Good afternoon, guys. Yes, it is afternoon. It is Wednesday afternoon. So, I just lying down and I just got inspiration to film a video. And this is going to be like a chit chat kind of um, video because I'm going to like talk to you guys, kind of like a vlog. And at the same time, I'm going to do my makeup. And I hope you guys find this interesting. I'm just trying new things for my channel, you know. Uh, I feel like my channel is a little bit boring, so I'm just trying to like add some new content to it and see what, how people respond. So I hope you guys respond well to this video. So I'm going to get started with doing my makeup and um, I'll film the entire thing and I'll talk to you guys while I do my makeup, alright? Alrighty guys, so I did my eyebrows off camera and I also primed and set my eyelid because I don't want this video to be too long because I already have this feeling that it's going to be too long, you know? So, I'm going to start and um, put on some eyeshadows, yeah. So the eyeshadow palette for today, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35F eyeshadow palette and I'm also going to be using the Kali Bible, the Kali Jenner, the Kylie. I'm also going to be using the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette and this is, um, what's this one called? Royal Peach Palette. This is the Royal Peach Palette. <laughs> Alright, so first I'm going to be using... First I'm going to go into this eyeshadow palette. It's so messy. And I want to... I want to mix this shade and this shade. Right? This one. No. So I want to mix these two shades. I know they're so far apart. But I'm going to mix those two shades. I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to dip into two shades and I'm just going to start packing it on my eyelid so I start from the inner corner and just like bring it out the shades are so pretty individually but I just feel like mixing them and just seeing what happens with the both of them so guys this past few days have been war on the internet between black china and Robert Kardashian. I like when, he, when she calls him Robert though. Because everybody calls him Rob, but she calls him Robert sometimes. I just like it. Anyways, the two of them have been fighting, and I'm like, wait, what is happening? See, I'm not saying that either one of them is right. Both of them are wrong. In different levels, so many different levels. <laughs> First of all, I agree with China. It is her body, and she can do whatever she wants with her body. But the thing is, why send videos and pictures of you kissing a guy in the same bed you once shared with Robert to Robert? Why send him pictures like and videos like that? You know, I get that you're just trying to make him mad and you know get him upset. I get that, and it worked because Rob got really angry and he started posting those videos and those pictures on the internet on instagram and he went on this long rant like a day long rant on instagram and on twitter because instagram eventually shut him down and so he went to twitter and continued it was just so messy guys like seriously messy and so the next day after Rob went on his rant and posted pictures of Black China with this guy, um, the next day Black China got a lawyer. <laughs> and this lawyer, by the way, I have to say, looked and seemed very thirsty for fame. Like the way she came out and started talking, oh, women's rights, um, it's China's body, she can do whatever she wants to do with her body, which I agree. Um, Oh, how revenge porn is such a horrible thing to do, I agree. But the way she was saying it and the way she looked saying it just made her seem so thirsty though. Like, this is my opinion. She looked so thirsty. And I just, I was just looking at her, I'm like, I rolled my eyes and I was like, yeah, this is just sentiment. To me at first, I felt it was sent sentimental bullshit. When the lawyer came out and started talking because this is something china has been doing all along like throughout throughout her career she's been known to like show different parts of her body 
I mean, we all know where she came from and all that kind of stuff. But when the lawyer started talking, I actually got, uh, I actually understood where they were coming from. It is China's body. It is her, you know, right to post whatever she wants to post. But it, it, but if she doesn't give you the permission to do so, then don't do it. You know, it's just like um, guys who record having sex with a girl and then going to share it with their friends. If the girl decides to share her sex videos by herself, it's her decision. But when you decide to do it without her, without her permission, you're violating some kind of law. I get it, but <laughs> I just couldn't help but notice how thirsty the lawyer seemed. And I was just laughing, I was like, yo. At first it just seemed like they were trying to bring in sentiments and get us on Black China's side. I'm not I'm not on anyone's side. I really don't care that much to be on anyone's side, but I'm just saying that the entire thing is just crazy. Besides, the first day I heard that Robert Kardashian was dating China, I was like, <laughs> is he stupid? Like is he for real? This has to be some kind of setup. Like they're trying to like get a reality TV show, which they eventually did. But everybody, including myself, everybody saw right through this. I never believed once that their relationship was serious. It could have been, I don't know, but I didn't like I did not buy into it. I just didn't. Cause I just couldn't imagine why would Rob want to go out with Black China? Black China went out with Tiger, Kylie's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Like the entire thing just seemed too complicated. And now you want to cry to the world, Rob? We saw this, we told you this, your sister has told you this, you didn't listen. What do you want the world to do right now? End up in court guys. They might end up in court. Guys, I'm going I'm going to take my um, Ray Peach palette. And I am going to go into the shades. These two shades. And I'm going to try and blend this out. So I'm putting it in the outer corner. If you guys notice, I did not extend this um, eyeshadow to the outer corner. It's kind of like halfway, but I'm going to use these two shades and add that in the outer corner of my lid. Just blend it into the shimmer shade. Like everything, such a mess. And then this afternoon, Rob um, said that he he's apologizing that he was wrong for sharing those pictures and videos of black china and that he should have listened to his sisters when they warned them i'm like gee you think you think you should have listened to the entire world when we told you <laughs> well black china is winning though because out of i get it out of anger and frustration rob did what he did which he shouldn't have but he has to now he has to pay for it you know he has to for what he's done in his runs he just kept saying um trying to bring some men into the house he paid he pays for I'm like yo you're paying for your baby mama's house doesn't mean she doesn't have to live her life just because you're paying for the house doesn't mean she can't have people over does not mean she cannot have a date and move on with her life like, I actually thought they were still together until a couple of days ago. I thought they were still together. I didn't know that they had separated a while ago. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that China cannot move on with her life and bring in how many guys she wants to bring in inside the same house you pay for. If you pay for it and you guys are not together, she should live her life. And you should live your life, Rob. I'm just going to like skip this part I'm going back in with those shades the um, shimmer shades and just adding them back because I feel like I lost them and so I'm just bringing it back every time I say bringing it back I just think of I'm bringing sexy back yeah and then I'm going back in with my um, blending brush and just blending okay guys so Okay, so my battery keeps dying on me. I thought I charged it. I really did. I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, so I'm going to take this black eyeshadow over here because I just want to create depth here in the outer corner. I already did it in this eye, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that here. So with my um, crease brush from e.l.f., I'm just going to like 
step a little bit into that black eyeshadow just a tiny bit I'm just going to put it in the outer corner the phone is ringing all right so I'm going to put it here in the outer corner someone somebody already got the phone don't worry so put it here in the outer corner and just at the same time buffing it out I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Tap again into that black and go back in and just buff it out. And then taking whatever is left on the brush, and I'm just going to go a little bit into this area here, just slightly above the crease area. I just want a little, I just want that I want a little bit of shadow in this area so I'm taking whatever is left on that brush and adding just a tiny bit of shadow and then going back and blending it out all right guys so I'm going to take my other blending brush and dip it into those shades from the royal peach palette and go over this entire thing just blend it out so I'm just going on top of that black and just going in circular motions and buffing it out, blending the edge out. Alright, I have that there now. I'm going to take a wipe and clean. Ooh, look at all that. Lot of fallout. So next I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Poreless Foundation Primer. I guess before I go into foundation, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Eyeliner Pen. Okay guys, so I have done my liner which took a good 10 minutes to do. I don't know. I cannot explain why. <laughs> I'm going to use my NYX um, Total Control Foundation. And this is in Cappuccino. Just put a tiny bit. I'm about to swallow foundation. And I'm going to take my ELF Foundation Blurring Brush and blend this in. I wonder how long this video is already like because my camera keeps going off all right that keeps showing me the battery dying signal and so I have to like charge it every time <clears throat> but right now I have it at 22 percent so we're good for a while you guys by the way during this Robin China feud, on YTI felt the need to chime in and he did not just chime in. He did not just like give his own opinion. He kind of like insulted Rob. I guess that's what pissed Rob off and Rob like said what he said about him about him TI, um, Black China and Tiny having a threesome. Basically that TI paid Black China to have a threesome with them. <laughs> like what? Like how do you recover from that? <laughs> Yo, this past couple of days have been crazy. By the way guys, can I just say that I love this foundation. I'm about to go buy like three more. I introduced my aunt to this foundation and she loves it. She wants to go get hers. It's a very good foundation. And I'm using my NYX HD concealer and this is in tan. I'm also going to add a little bit of this Maybelline um, one. And this is in number 40. This is medium. Just a little bit. It's kind of like brighter than the next one. 
And then I'm going to take this very old sponge from Mark B and blend it out. My, re my, real techniques, my real technique sponge is dirty and I just I can't be bothered to go back to the bathroom right now. <laughs> I'm just lazy. I can't be bothered to go to the bathroom and wash it and bring it back. So I'm just going to like use this. So to set, I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. You know how like when you're in love for the first time and everyone is telling you he's a bad guy. Not even for the first time. Generally when you're in love and when you're in love, sometimes you don't see what other people see, you know? So your mom and your sister and your brother or whoever will be telling you, oh, he's bad for you, he's not the right person for you. But because you're blinded by love, you don't say it. But hopefully, before you make a huge commitment, you say it. Yeah, so well, that's it. I'm going to line my eyes now with my e.l.f. Um, cool liner. And then I'm going to take those peach shades from the Royal Peach Palette and blend it into the black eyeliner. I'm also going to take the, that shimmer shade from the Morphe Palette and put it, just, just bring it into the inner corner a little bit. I'm not going to take it all the way in because it's going to make my eyes look bigger. Than I want it to look. I already have a big eye, so I just don't want to make it look wider. I cannot complain. And so, because I have run out of lashes on a different topic, I'm just going to use my uh, mascara because I don't have lashes to apply. I don't really, I don't usually apply lashes that often, so this is just okay. If you do have lashes. Do not hesitate to use lashes because I have seen the difference um, lashes, false lashes make with your makeup look. Like they make your look, your makeup look more dramatic and nice. It changes everything. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the face and I'm going to contour. I'm going to be using my um, Black Radiance Press Powder in Warm Hazelnut. To highlight my face, um, I think I'm going to use my Elf Baked Eyeshadow. I've not used this in a, I've not used this in a minute, and so I'm just going to take that on my fan brush. For blush, I'm going to use my Elf Blush Palette, and I'm taking this shade over here. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to use this Colourpop liquid lipstick in LAX. Um, I don't really like dark lip colours because I feel like they make me look weird. Thank you so much for watching. I love the way this look turned out. I wasn't expecting it to be this pretty. It's fairly simple and I love the lip color especially. The combo is just insane. I love the way the lipstick turned out because if you, you saw in the video I paired two different lip colors and got this shade and I'm happy with it. This is my inner corner. I have glitter and it's the J-Cut glitter in in papaya whip the jacob beauty glitter in papaya whip is what i have in the inner corner of my eyes and um yeah that's the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed this video or at least learned something 
if you did please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment below tell me what you think about this look and also so if you want me to include anything in my channel please let me know um, in the comments below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and follow me on all my other social media accounts the links will be in the description box below and also at the end of this video and um, I'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye bye